Welcome, 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 guys. It is January 7th, 2023, and the Mississauga Steelheads have just made two huge trades, and for these trades, I decided it was not appropriate to do the one-minute short thing that I usually do, uh, so I'm going to have some discussion about it. After a great start to the season, the Mississauga Steelheads had a very frustrating December, only picking up six points within the month, and so uh, they decided it was time to start the rebuild, trading uh, Blackhawks prospect and our captain, Ethan Del Mastro, and Blue Jackets prospect Luka Del Babalus to the Sarnia Sting. Also, Montreal Canadiens prospect Owen Beck goes to the Peterborough Peets. Breaking down the trades in detail, again the Sarnia Sting get Ethan Del Mastro and Luka Del Babalus. In return, the Steelheads get a couple of young forwards, Porto Martone, who was the fifth overall pick in the 2022 draft, and Angus McDonnell. Uh, also, three draft picks, uh, a second round pick that was originally Flint's in 2023, a fourth round pick that was originally London's in 2025, and Sarnia's own fourth round pick from 2026. The other trade, again, Owen Beck goes to Peterborough. Again, we get a couple of young forwards, uh, Jack Van Volsen, who is the sixth overall pick, so we now have the fifth and sixth overall picks in the 2022 draft. Uh, by comparison, Lucas Carmiris, who was our first rounder, was number 13. Uh, Justin DeZoti, another forward, also comes from Peterborough. Uh, we get a second rounder in 2025 from Peterborough, also a second rounder in 2025 that was originally Erie's. Uh, the Pete's uh, third rounder in 2025, and the Pete's fourth rounder in 2026. I do have mixed feelings about these trades. Uh, obviously, I'm going to miss those three individuals a lot. Uh, they've been around forever, and it seemed like they were Steelhead's lifers pretty much, so it's going to be weird watching them play for other teams. But the other thing is, uh, I still saw some potential in this team. Like, uh, December, as I mentioned, was a frustrating month, but uh, we rarely played with a full lineup in December. Like, Ethan Del Mastro left for the World Juniors. Even before he left for the World Juniors, he had some injury trouble. Uh, same with Charlie Callahan. He had some injury trouble, then later he had that five-game suspension. Uh, Beck left for a while, then came back, then left again. Uh, Larson missed a few games. Uh, it was a difficult December, but it was difficult for a reason. Even throughout some of the more frustrating games in December, I always had in the back of my mind, you know, it's going to be better when Ethan and Owen are back. And as it turns out, they never got back. The flip side of that, though, is uh, Ethan and Luca are not going to be in the OHL next year. Uh, they're going to be going pro. Uh, Owen may have had one more year in the OHL, but there's always a chance that uh, Montreal might decide to keep him. Uh, so there is that. Uh, and with the overagers leaving, Hardy, Callahan, Larson, Uberti, that's another thing. Uh, the Steelheads have to uh, drop an overager by the deadline. Um, but uh, yeah, the turnover between this year and next year was going to be huge. And I guess the idea is uh, you trade these guys now, you bring in these young forwards, you bring in these draft picks, which uh, adding to our huge cupboard of draft picks uh, between these two trades and the Zach Lavoie trade, uh, the draft picks we have right now are massive. Uh, but to bring these guys in, get them playing together now, and uh, make the turnover not so much next year. So do these trades make the current team better? Probably not, and that's not really the intention. But do they make the 23-24 team better than it was going to be? Absolutely. And as I mentioned, it is tough to lose guys like that, especially three of them at once, like Del Mastro, Del Babalus, Beck. Every single one of those guys is someone's favorite player. Like, there's jerseys of those guys all over the rink every game. So, it's tough, guys, I know. But uh, this league is a circle of life. Your favorites leave, but there's new favorites right behind them all the time. So, uh... Welcome in, Jack Van Volsen. Welcome in, Porter Martone. Welcome in, Justin DeZoti. Welcome in, Angus McDonald. Give those guys a chance to become your new favorites. Let's welcome those guys in the way we welcomed Ethan, Luca, and Owen in. Uh, let's go through the rest of the season without any major expectations. Uh, let these guys play together, get some chemistry, and maybe in a few years, we get our reward. Also, to let you guys know quickly, Behind the Bench may be delayed a little bit next week. Um, I usually shoot on Monday, but I'm thinking I might shoot on Tuesday this week just to make sure all the trades are done before I do. Uh, the Steelheads uh, do have to make at least one more trade because we still have four overagers. Uh, so there's that. Uh, so it might be a Thursday release, possibly even a Friday afternoon release. I'll try to not make it later than that, uh, but just to let you guys know. So to Ethan, Luca, and Owen, uh, thank you guys for everything and best of luck with your new teams. Uh, to Angus, Jack, Justin, and Porter, uh, welcome aboard. We hope to make Mississauga feel like home. Thank you guys. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.